What is up everybody? Gary Simon here. So today I thought it would be really interesting for you guys to look at the work I've created or at least a small percentage of it uh, in the last 20 plus years of after having been a designer and a front-end developer. So I decided to do this just because I, you know, a lot of you are starting out and it's difficult for you to produce great work. And of course, you know, we all start from, you know, pretty much sucking, all right? So I'm gonna show you my late 90s, starting with 1999, some of my design work, and we're gonna work our way up through each year. Uh, most of it's web design, but not all of it. Some of it's graphic design, some of it's uh, identity design and stuff like that. So as always, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and let's check out this work. Oh, and hey, before we begin, you're about to watch me in my journey to becoming a UI designer. And the sponsor of today's video is Scrimba. And they have an amazing platform to learn UI design using my UI design bootcamp. At Scrimba, you don't just watch videos. No, no, no. You're actually able to modify code in the browser while you learn. My course on UI design features over 100 lessons that are specifically tailored to help you become an awesome UI designer, and they're packed with interactive challenges. So click the very first link here in the YouTube description to access my course along with many others for a very low monthly fee. All right, so here is the very uh, earliest basically that I could find, and this is in 1999. Um, as we could see, um, it's not the greatest thing you've ever seen. And of course, you know, back then we had different standards of design, uh, not like we have now, but, uh, I mean, what's that say? A quote could go here or something, you know, and there's a toilet up here. What is happening? Why would you put a toilet up there? Anyhow, at least I have some white space around here. Let's check out another one from 1999. Um, as you can see, for some reason, I, I was into like these uh, like one or two pixel repeating horizontal um, backgrounds. You can see it in this previous one here too. I don't know what that was. It was something I liked. Um, look at all that emboss, uh, the good old days of Photoshop. Um, 2000, here we go. This I think was meant to be in uh, like flash or shockwave back then. Um, you know, lack of white space, lack of contrast here. A lot of things happening wrong. At least it's kind of creative, right? Same sort of thing here back in 2001. Um, I, I did many, I mean many portfolios because that's what you do, right? You start off, you make a portfolio, even though you hardly have any freaking work. Um, that's what I did. I kind of like the co colors here, um, but still, you know, it, it, this is funny. It says, if the links do not work, then you must update your browser to 4.0, Internet Explorer 4.0, of course. Um, 2001 again, uh, Teen Nation, the ins and outs of teen relationships. At this point, I was 17. Um, so apparently, I mean, I don't know what this is for. I don't know if this was... Um, like for a client or for my, hopefully I wasn't like trying to pretend to be some type of, type of guru. Um, ePlaya.com. I think this right here was like a, uh, this was for a client um, and they were starting some sort of, uh, yeah, like dating app or something, I guess. This is back when hot or not was, uh, hot or not.com was really popular. Um, 2002, another portfolio right here. Um, four years of professional experience in design, HTML, Shockwave, MySQL, or MySQL, PHP, and JavaScript. God, can you believe that? HGH Enhancer, all right? So this as well was for a client back then. Um, you know, at this point, you know, I just graduated, um, or I was still in high school um, uh, as a senior, and yeah, there's something, I actually like the colors. The colors are pretty cool. I like the colors here, but you know, there's there's a lot of issues in terms of the topography. Um, I don't know why I have extended letters uh, spacing here. Um, you know, it, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. And this is back in 2002, I was 18 here. Um, just a few years experience. And this is also back, although wait, it says copyright 2003, 2004. I may have mislabeled that by accident. Either way, um, that's what the date modified said. Anyhow, this is, I uh, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I have to say it's not that bad. Um, 2003, I think my lo there was a local radio station called Hot 101, and they were having a website redesign contest. I don't think I won, uh, but this was my attempt nonetheless. Notice the, uh, the very subtle gradients here. Um, yeah, we have a lot of different borders, which was a thing back then. 
2003. This here, I think, when it came to these types of designs where they were very like uh, like photographs were, were worked in with them, um, it was probably meant to be in flash or of some sort. Um, now, 2004, Body Gain, this was my very first big project, a personal project that I, you know, I created with a friend um, to be one of the first online fitness tracking journals. Um, there was only one other one before me, I think, and it was fitday.com. But we spent you know, over a year trying to develop this thing. Um, we had some members and we even had a possibility to co-brand under bodybuilding.com. I spoke with the owner back then. Unfortunately, the deal never went through. They were going to pay us like a monthly fee to kind of just like create a, like a version of their own. Um, <clears throat> yeah, here's another example, um, like a profile page. I <laughs> Look what it says for my stats. Height, 6'1". Uh, body fat percentage, 9%. No, definitely not 9%. I've never been 9% there. But yeah, I was 20 years old back then. And this right here, this flash... This was actually a flash charts, um, and they were really cool back then. Here's another example. Uh, 2004 again, uh, health converts. So I was kind of like interested in health and stuff back then. So this is like for an affiliate program that I was trying to start. I actually kind of like the colors here. The layout here for the most part is pretty good. I've been designing at this point, I guess you could say for five years-ish or so. Um, <laughs> This is for a band of some sort, I guess. Um, yeah, home band, tour dates, whatever. Hard to read this type right here. Um, yeah, overall not terrible, but not the greatest thing you've ever seen. Um, 2005 and another fitness idea that I had, automated trainer, comprehensive physical analysis. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Um, Healthy Go, that was another one of my sites that I was uh, trying to make profitable. Um, I actually kind of like it here. I don't know why page flaps and page folds. That was kind of a thing for a while, um, <clears throat> to, to trying to give some realism to the to the sites and skeuomorphism or whatever. Um, but this isn't too bad. I mean, if you have to, you have to remember back in, you know, this is 2005 is uh, like 16 years ago, and so th there there weren't a lot of great design trends or whatever that were happening um, like we have now. But still, for for even that time, I would say I, th this is really not that bad um 2005 here's a web or another web developer web designer portfolio this is actually meant to all be in flash and i do have a copy of the flash uh working here and in fact i'm gonna link my other video from a couple years ago where i looked at my 1999 design portfolio and i went through a lot more of my old work and this one it actually shows you the site in flash and it had these cool like transitions between each pages and stuff um Here's another one uh, back in 2005, very, you know, pretty simple. We got the, the uh, high contrast white borders in here. We got the page folds again. I don't know why, you know, uh, not the greatest visual hierarchy and work on the topography, but you know, still not too bad, not too bad, I have to say. Um, 2006, this is uh, another client project, uh, discountmags.com. They're a real big magazine site. I'm not sure if they're even around anymore. They probably are. Um, I, yeah, I'm the one who also designed their logo as well back then. Um, <clears throat> at this point, I'm, I think, uh, what was 2006? Yeah, I was still living with my parents and, you know, I had a girlfriend since high school and we were about to move out. So I needed to start making money soon. Uh, so I was, I, was, I was, you know, doing still a little bit of uh, client work, but I, I didn't really have a lot or enough to really support us just yet. Um, another fitness service, fit practical um decent topography up here it's not too bad i don't like this being so close to here it's a little bit wordy but um you know decent call to action right here we can start seeing uh there's a little bit of uh gradients worked in here and gradients start become more of a thing as web 2.0 starts to enter the picture um here's another like a redesign of body gain that i wanted to to work on dark star communications my uh, personal friend hired me to redesign their site they're one of the biggest ventrilo and team speak hosting services and those are voice chat services for gamers or whatever so as you can see compared to some of my earlier work i'm starting to get better um you know we got rounded corners here we still have some gradients all that good stuff 2008 
audiobeast.com, that was a site that I ran for a while because I was getting into music production. I wanted to sell like loops and stuff like that. And I actually did make a few sales, but um, you know, it never became a huge success. Same thing, I, I was into logo design for a while. I designed this Beast shirt. Um, I was gonna create more and this was gonna be the website for it, but it, I never finished it. Um, this is for a, uh, a client, beatingaddiction.com. Um, notice here, this is starting to get real Web 2.0-ish uh, with the gradients everywhere. Uh, Web 2.0 was all about gradients for the most part. Um, yeah, it, overall, not too bad. Um, another one, nursingstress.com. My wife had become a nurse uh, at, th at this time, and so I was like, how can we monetize this? I mean, we're going to start a site didn't work out. We never, I never went through with it. I like designing websites though. I think it was just gave me practice. Um, at this point in 2000 or, or 2007, 2008, I was, I, uh, you know, really, I was making most of my money by designing logos. Actually. Um, I ranked real high in Google for logo design related keywords. And I had a site where people would come and purchase logo design. So from 2006, 2007, all the way to 2012 or so, I did almost 2,000 logo designs, but in that time, I was also doing website design, and I designed websites for some of those logo design clients. Right here, 2009, I uh, this is designcourse.com, believe it or not. I, I purchased the, the domain name from a domain name squatting company for about 1,500 bucks, and I I was gonna. This is my first time getting into actually trying to teach people stuff. Um, so I I I had. Yeah, designcourse.com for $50 a month. And the, it taught logo design, web design, and all that stuff. Um, 2010, I had this idea because I was also getting into creating video promos. I mean, I don't know why. I was just trying to create so many things. And the, pro the problem with that mentality, if you don't stick to one thing and you keep on going from thing to thing to thing like I did, well, it gave you got, uh, me a lot of experience um, in, in de web design and creating all the, the platforms. You don't give you know, a single project a chance, unfortunately. Um, but, but anyhow, uh, I kind of like the logo here. Um, the, as you can see, 2010, uh, the, the, the designs are starting to look, you know, a lot better than what they did like 10 years prior. Um, another very web 2.0. This was a site, um, that I started skinsta.com to sell like V bulletin, um, which are the old message boards themes as well as PHP, BB, IPB and WordPress actually as well. I, I just never stuck with it enough. So I only made like a few sales, I think. 2012 video effect, uh, another idea that I had with a friend to try to sell, uh, you know, video trailers or whatever. Um, <clears throat> 2012, I was also into other things outside of web design. You know, here's like a custom icon design I did. Um, here's a kind of like a infographic I created. Um, back in 2012, it was really popular in the design community to create uh, these sort of... Uh, interesting looking iOS app icon launchers. So I was a part of that movement for a while. Um, the day that they shut down Winamp, uh, I created my own little Winamp skin because Winamp was, you know, had a really cool community where you can, where designers created custom skins and all that. Unfortunately, it's really pixelated. I didn't design it like that, but that's like the small, like the big, biggest version I could find. 2013, wisebanner.com. This was uh, another product that I created um, and it was actually really cool. I, it, it was basically uh, a Photoshop a script in, in a plugin essentially that allowed you to create um, a, a single banner and then it would replicate that banner automatically across like 15 or 16 other different sizes. And I charged like 80 bucks for it. And I, I made, you know, I uh, maybe 10,000 bucks out of it. I have, I have no clue. Um, and then, yeah, me just playing around with toggle switch yeah, switches and uh, skeuomorphism and all that. 2014, this is the year that I really started to take YouTube really seriously. Um, and this is actually uh, a project from uh, the YouTube channel uh, where I was teaching people how to make something like this. Um, and then I uh, obviously from there, I was really focusing on YouTube, but sometimes I, you know, I would do different stuff like creating this, uh, this uh, GUI or GUI for um, like a a VST, a virtual string instrument sort of thing for um, music producers. And this is just for practice. Um, 
Again, I was doing logo design a ton prior to around 2012, 2013, when I stopped doing logo design. I stopped ranking in Google, so it kind of screwed my business entirely. But I got into you know doing this type of design for a while, um, kind of like this hand portrait, uh, hand you know custom hand writing or styling or whatever. And I think I got pretty decent. And then you know from here on, like 2015, 2016, like I said, a lot of my time was spent on making YouTube videos. So I was getting better at design while also teaching people the stuff I already knew. Um, and so here's just, you know, some more of that. I, there's, there's so many examples. If you go through the my YouTube channel videos tab and just sort it by like oldest, you can see so many of, of my other designs, but these are just a couple examples, 2019, 2018. Um, so just, I would say I even most recently is frettastic.com, which was in early uh, 2020 last year that I created this app uh, along with a developer. Um, and I really like this one as well because it's always fun, you know, teaching, when you're teaching, you know, you can't spend a ton of time on each project, obviously. Um, so for this to have my own project was really exciting uh, for me to, to apply my design skills that I've been developing over the last 20 years on, on an actual real site or real project. Uh, because sometimes we can lose focus of that, uh, the process of designing for real sites and all that. Um, and so, yeah, that is basically it. I Maybe another video in the future, I'll show all my logo designs, or obviously I can't, there's well over 2,000 of them. Um, but yeah, maybe that would be uh, another video topic if you guys would be interested in that. But you, the whole point of this video, again, is just to show that I, uh, you know, we all start from somewhere uh, and we're not very good at it. Uh, but one thing that I did right was just simply to be consistent. Even when I wasn't making hardly any money for several years, I would say probably like six years, um, but I just kept at it and then eventually, you know, I was able to make, you know, I, a pretty decent amount of money with the logo design and the web design and then eventually teaching as well. All right, so once again, we all start somewhere. My work was not great. And so don't expect yours to be great, you know, within the first few years even. It's gonna be difficult, but you have to be consistent. So as always, if you enjoyed this, leave a comment, give a like, and most importantly, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.